Welcome friends, this is Abad and I am here with another video from Abad's Biology. This short video is about centrioles, so let's start without wasting any time. Centrioles are hollow cylindrical or tube-like structures composed of microtubules. As we know that microtubules are cytoskeletal filaments composed of tubulin protein. Okay. And centrioles, they usually occur in pairs and they are not surrounded by any membrane, so we can call them non-membrane structures. They are basically found in animal cells, lower plants like mosses and liverworts, and some microorganisms. Actually, mosses and liverworts belong to a group of plants known as bryophytes. And bryophytes are lower plants and they don't have vascular bundles, so they are called non-vascular plants. Centrioles are located in cytoplasm near the nuclear membrane, and the region where centrioles are present is known as centrosome. Centrosome is the region where a pair of centrioles or two centrioles are present. Each centriole is about 0.2 micrometer in diameter and 0.3 to 0.5 micrometer in length. And each centriole is composed of nine microtubule triplets attached to a central core and forming a sort of cartwheel-like structure. Okay. In this diagram, you can see the pair of centrioles. This is a pair of centrioles. If we look into details of the one centriole, this rod-like or structure is composed of nine microtubule triplets. This is the first triplet, the second, third, and so on. So a total of nine microtubule triplets are attached to this central region, this central core. Okay, and you can see here in the cross section, these are microtubule triplets attached to the central core. So a total of 27 tubules constitute one centriole. Okay, and within the cell, Centrioles occur in pair and they are arranged at right angle to one another. If we look at the functions of centrioles, so the main function of centrioles is its role in cell division. Centrioles facilitate separation of chromosomes during cell division. They work as a microtubules organizing centers and helps in the formation of spindle fibers. Okay, what are spindle fibers? Spindle fibers are those thread like structures which attach to the chromosome and pull them towards the opposite poles during cell division. Okay, so before cell division, centrioles duplicate and two pairs are formed. Normally, a pair is present near the nuclear membrane and just before cell division, that pair duplicates and two pairs are formed. Okay, so the one pair migrates to the opposite side of the nucleus and finally, both the pairs of centrioles they form spindle fibers okay and spindle fibers attach to the chromosomes and pull the chromosomes to the opposite ends or opposite poles of the cell this helping cell division in this diagram you can see a pair of centrioles in cytoplasm this is a pair of centrioles okay so just before cell division this pair duplicates and another pair is formed and that pair is migrated towards the opposite side of nucleus this is nucleus okay so the pair duplicates and two pairs are formed and one pair migrates to this pole to this side of the nucleus and helps in cell division here there is one pair of centrioles which duplicates during s phase of cell cycle and two pairs are formed now there are two pairs of centrioles okay so one pair of centrioles is migrated towards the opposite side of nucleus and then these centrioles they form then thread like structures known as spindle fibers. These are spindle fibers and these spindle fibers they attach the chromosomes and help in cell division. You can see in this diagram these spindle fibers are attached to these chromosomes. So they pull apart chromosomes towards the opposite poles or towards the respective poles. Apart from their role in cell division, centrioles also helps in the formation of cilia and flagella. Cilia and flagella are thread-like structures 
which are found in some unicellular organisms and helps in locomotion like in paramecium in euglena or in chlamydomonas okay cilia and flagella are composed of microtubule based structures known as axonym and these structures cilia and flagella will be discussed in details in upcoming videos along with axonym so this brief video was about centrioles and their functions